In today's video editing tutorial, I'll show you how you can create these awesome animated split screens like the ones that you're watching now. With this effect, you can make the most boring footage look a lot more enjoyable. I'm going to do this inside Adobe Premiere Pro 22.4, but you should be able to do this in older versions as well. Before I move over to Premiere, I want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Use Squarespace to create a beautiful and professional looking website. You don't need to have any web design knowledge. You can just start with one of their beautiful templates and they are super easy to adjust to your taste and needs. So whether you want to set up a blog post website, an online portfolio or a webshop to sell your products, you can do it all with Squarespace. Use the link squarespace.com slash Torisium to claim a 10% discount on your first purchase. The links can be found in the video description. Ok, now it's time to jump over to Premiere and start some editing. Inside Premiere I've got a couple of clips ready on the timeline for this demo. We'll start with a basic side-by-side -side split screen animation and then make it more advanced later on. This split screen animation is mainly achieved with a lot of keyframes and one basic effect, the crop effect. So let's add this effect to the first clip on the timeline and then move over to the effect controls panel. Here I'm going to enable keyframes for the left and right crop by clicking on the stopwatch icon and I will also enable keyframes for position. And this will be the starting point of the animation. Next I'll move a couple of frames forward and then crop the clip on both sides by 25%. And now we can move all that is left of this clip to the right side of the frame. And by adding these keyframes we've now created this animation. And by the way, you can skip between the exact position of the keyframes by using these arrows here. And this is important to know because you will use this a lot when you make split screens like this, as you'll see later on. So next I'll move the playhead to the timestamp of the first set of keyframes. That's the starting point for the second clip, which I will stack on top of the first one like this. I will also add the crop effect to this clip and then inside the effect controls panel also enable keyframes for left and right crop and also for precision. At the beginning of the animation, the second clip should not be visible, so we'll move this one out of the frame to the left. Next I will select the first clip on the timeline and then skip forward to the point of the second set of keyframes. Then go back to the second clip and then use this timestamp to add some keyframes. I'll move this video back into the frame and then crop this at 25% on both sides. So now I can place this clip on the left side of the frame and also add some space between the two clips. And you could also move the first clip some more to the right to keep it symmetric and also add a thicker border between the two clips. The animation is already looking pretty good so far, but we can make it a bit smoother by easing the keyframes. This means that we need to select the Ease In option for the last set of keyframes and the Ease Out option for the first set. And of course we need to do this on both clips or else they will be out of sync. And that's it for the first part, let's have a look at this side-by-side -side split screen animation. If you want to make the animation move faster, you can simply place the keyframes closer to each other like this. Ensure the other clip's keyframes are also at the same timestamp to keep it all in sync. Now it's time to add another clip to the split screen animation. I'm going to crop and move this clip more to the left and then bring the right one down and place the new one on top of that. Maybe you've got no idea what I mean, but let's go for it and you'll see right away. First I'll move a couple of frames forward and then create another set of keyframes as the animation's starting point. I'm going to do the same for the second video, but here I will also enable keyframes for the top crop value. Then I'll move a couple of frames forward and use this timestamp as the end of the animation. Ok, let's select the other video and then crop this one on the right side. And after that move the video to the left like this. And if I now scrub to the timeline, you can see the animation that we've just created. Now I'm going to select the second video and then first crop this one on top. And also bring back some of it on the left side. If you need to make finer adjustments, you can also select the crop effect and then drag the outside blue lines inside the program monitor. And finally, I will also reposition the clip somewhere down here. If I scrub to the timeline, you can see that the border isn't equally in thickness throughout the entire animation. 
That's because not all the keyframes have the same ease properties. So we need to give the first set of keyframes the ease out option and the last set of keyframes the ease in option. And of course, we need to do this on both clips. And this is how it looks so far. It's time to add the final video, but first let's move to the last set of keyframes. And then stack the last video on top of the other two. We're going to use this point in time to enable keyframes on the third video. But for this one, we're not going to add the crop effect, but we're going to play around with the scale and position. So I will scale it down and then place this one in the right top corner. Then go back to the first set of keyframes in one of the other videos and use this position to scale the video back to 100% and then move it out of the frame to the right top corner. And this will add the following movement to the last video. Finally, we also need to add ease properties to these new keyframes and after that the animation will look like this. And that's it for this split screen animation tutorial. Once you understand this workflow, you should be able to make endless variations. If you made your own version based on this tutorial, then feel free to share the link to your video in the description. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one and if you did, then please like the video, I would really appreciate that. I need to go now, I'm going to order a pizza. Thanks for watching and I wish you all a wonderful day.